Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to load medicine, liquid medicine, into a uh, nebulizer. This is basically something that's going to turn something liquid into a vapor that, you're, uh, that you can inhale. This one is going to help with my little kids uh, breathing. They're a little bit under the weather right now and this will help them get a clear airway. airway. So uh, I'm going to show you how to load liquid medicine into a nebulizer. First, you're going to have some sort of a air pump. Looks like this. Has a little hole for the uh, air. Um, this one is a Philips Respironics InnoSpire Essence. First thing you want to do is take one of the hoses and put it on the air exhaust there. That's what's going to blow the air into the medicine. Once you do that, take the other end. It's going to be a couple of feet long. This is going to go into a reservoir, into the bottom of the reservoir. That's connected there. And now I'm going to show you how to take the medicine. These come almost like in little bullet shapes, little plastic vials that you break off. Break the tip off. Hold this upright and just put the medicine in the side. Squirt it in there. Hopefully you can see that. Medicine's in there. It's about a couple milliliter, milliliters of medicine. Uh, then you put the cap on top of that reservoir. Screw it in tight. It won't click, but it won't turn anymore. And then on the top, you have two types of delivery methods. For your older kids or an adult, you can have them just put this in their mouth, and as this pumps on, it'll vaporize or nebulize that, and they'll just breathe through that. Or for the little kids, they have a little face mask, and this one's actually called Sammy the Seal. The kids actually put a little eyeballs on it. So you put that on them, have the little kid hold that there, and just flip this thing on, and it'll buzz for about two or three minutes, and uh, it'll turn this liquid, nebulize it into a, a vapor that they can inhale, and it'll get their medicine that way. Um, you're never going to get all the vapor, all the uh, liquid out of there. You'll have a couple droplets left over. But I thought I'd show you how to do this because it took me a little while to figure out, even with the directions from the doctor and pharmacist. But pretty simple. Connection at the machine, connection at the bottom of the reservoir, medicine in the reservoir, and then snap on the top and put in one of two types of delivery devices. Hopefully this helps. It's not a big deal, but it's always fun to see it first before you do it for yourself for the first time. Thanks for watching.